I'm Alex. Today I'm going to go over a beginner flexibility routine to help you improve your kicks. Now let's get started. The first stretch is very simple. All I want you to do is put your feet a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. We're first going to start off reaching both of our hands down to the center right to the floor. From here you're going to hold it for a good 10 to 15 seconds. And then once you've held it for that long, I want you to come back up and then you're going to reach down to your right leg and your left leg. Same thing. Both your hands reaching down. You're going to hold it for 10 to 15 seconds. Coming back up. Make sure you do both legs. And then from there, once you've done all three positions, you're going to start back over. You're going to go back to the center, back to the right leg, back to the left leg. I recommend you do this two sets. Now this next stretch, you want to get down kind of like your horse stance. From here, your knees are bent and you're going to take your forearms and just kind of press them on the inside of your thighs. Kind of get a nice little stretch here. You can also put each shoulder in. So I'm going to put my right shoulder in, put my hands on my knees, put right shoulder in, switch, put my left shoulder in, holding it for about 10 seconds. So there's three different variations you can do. You can hold center, put each shoulder in, holding for 10 seconds. I recommend you do this for 10 sets. It's really going to help you open up those hips. Now this third stretch, I want you to bend down. You're going to have one foot on the ground. The other foot's going to go out straight. This is really going to help stretch your leg and also help open up your hips as well. Both your hands are going to be on the ground. From here, you're just going to hold this for a good 10 seconds. And I want you to switch sides doing the other leg. Hold it for 10 seconds. I recommend that you do this for two sets on each side. This next one, you're going to be doing slow lunges. So you're just going to step out. I want you to bend down like you're throwing a lunge. And then you're going to come back up. And I want you to switch alternating sides. Go down into a lunge, come back up. These are really going to help start to stretch and warm up your quads and a little bit of your hamstrings as well. I do recommend that you do 10 total for two sets. Now this next stretch, you're going to get down, sitting on the ground, and you're going to do a butterfly stretch. So it's going to look like this. From here, I want you to make sure that your legs are as flat as you can. You want to aim to put your knees close to the ground. From here, make sure your, your heels are close inside. You want to make sure you got a good position here. You're probably going to feel a nice little stretch here for your hips. And then from here, I want you to bend forward. So you want to aim to put your nose towards the ground. That's the idea here. You're going to feel a nice stretch for your hips. I recommend that you hold the down position for about 10 seconds for three sets. Now this last stretch, you're just going to put your feet out as wide as you can get them until you feel a little bit of a stretch right here. Now, I want you to reach down center, holding it for about 15 seconds. And then you're going to come back up, reach down to either leg. Make sure you reach both your hands towards your foot. Again, you're going to hold them for 15 seconds on your right side, 15 seconds on your left side. Make sure you come back up in between to kind of give it a little bit of a break. And then you're going to go back towards the center again, reaching for the center. 15 seconds, coming back up, and then go right into reaching down the right and the left. I recommend that you do this for three total sets. I recommend that you do this whole stretching routine about three to four times a week in addition to your martial arts training. Also, you need to keep in mind if you want to see results and improvement in your kicks and your flexibility, you have to stay consistent with your stretching. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you want to see my other stretching videos, I will link them in the description box down below. Definitely go check those out. Also, don't forget to subscribe, like us on Facebook, and follow me on Instagram. I'll see you guys later.